Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain photo transistors. Following topics will be covered in this video: construction, working, advantages, disadvantages, and applications of photo transistors. So let's start with the photo transistor, a photo semiconductor, photo sensor with amplification circuitry built into the same package is popularly called as a photo transistor so here we can say that a photo transistor is nothing but a photo diode with amplification circuitry this is the symbol for a photo transistor it is similar to that of a bipolar junction transistor it is having three terminals that is collectors base and emitters and here the falling light is indicated here showing that it is a photo sensitive device now let's see the construction for a photo transistor a photo transistor can either be it is having either two leads or three lead when we say two lead configuration the base is actually not present in case of a photo transistor whereas three lead device is having all three terminals that is base emitter and collector a semiconductor material is enclosed in opaque container in which a light easily reaches to the photosensitive element and this is the photograph of a photo transistor now here it is actually having three terminals also some photo transistor having two terminals also germanium and silicon is the semiconductor material that is commonly used in photo transistors so generally a uh, germanium and silicon photo transistors are available okay now let's see the working for a photo transistor as previously seen photo transistor can be a two lead device or a three lead device when it is having three terminals we can connect this photo diode just like this here the collector base junction is reverse bias and the base emitter junction is forward bias so it is its connection is just similar to that of a normal bipolar npn transistor so here you can see that this is npn transistor even a pnp transistor can also be there only case should be that the output should be connected in reverse bias and input should be connected in forward bias here this transistor can work as just like a simple npn transistor when light is not falling on it and when light falls on it it will work as a photo transistor it means that as the intensity of light increases overall the current flowing through this transistor will increase now let us talk about a two terminal npn transistor in case of two terminal npn transistor only emitter and a collector is having the terminals whereas the base will not have any terminal here when light falls on this the electric current will start conducting in this case note here that the collector region is actually connected to a positive terminal in it means that the, it is connected in reverse bias whereas emitter is connected in forward bias the same diagram can be represented here just like this mm. now generally whenever current flows through this it is actually very very high as compared to photo diode and as the intensity of light increases the collector current ic also increases it means that the collector current ic is dependent on the light intensity and therefore it can be used for to measure the intensity of the light now let's see some advantages of photo transistor it is highly sensitive then it is not expensive it is less complex highly reliable then it provides high amount of current 
including high gain as compared to photodiode. These are sensitive to wavelengths which is range from ultraviolet to IR through visible radiation. Now they are sensitive to different light sources like fluorescent light, incandescent, laser, sunlight, neon bulbs, flame, etc. Now let's see some disadvantages. Actually photodiode, phototransistors are slower as compared to photodiode. Then when the illumination is low, the circuit is not capable to notice it effectively and phototransistor get affected by the difference within electromagnetic energy. Now let's see applications. So phototransistors can be used in smoke detectors, CD players, invisible light receivers as an object counter, then it is used in alarm system, level indicators, proximity detectors and encoders. So this was all about a phototransistor. Now let's see some point of differences between photodiode and phototransistor. So this is the symbol for a photodiode whereas this is the symbol for a phototransistor. Now photodiodes actually generates current whereas phototransistor current generates currents as well as voltage. Then the output response of photodiode is fast as compared to phototransistor. Then sensitivity of photodiode is low, less because here is less current because it is operated in reverse bias whereas phototransistor is having more sensitivity. Then biasing of photodiode can be a positive as well as then biasing of photodiode can be forward as well as reverse biasing whereas in case of phototransistor it is forward bias at the input side and reverse bias at the output side. Then these are the applications of photodiode that is they, they are used in solar power generation then for detecting ultraviolet, infrared rays and for measuring light etc. In case of phototransistor they are used in smoke detectors, CD players, invisible light receivers etc. So overall these were the points of differences between photodiode and phototransistor. So in this way we have completed our photosensors. Thank you.